Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunday Forest Tarot here to do a little weekly reading for you for February, what is it, 16th through the 22nd. All right, so we're going to start off with some Lenormand cards. All right, and these cards are going to represent maybe something that spirit feels like you should know or be aware of maybe something that you're not <clears throat> that you're not seeing okay so the middle card here holds the most significance and what else is important with respect to these cards is that if any of these cards come up in the reverse they are not meant to be read in the reverse i'm actually not doing reversals in um, this particular general reading. Every now and then I will. The reason that for the most part that I don't do reversals in general readings is because not only do I have to explain the reversal meeting, I have to re I have to explain what that card means in the upright as well. Okay, so it takes much longer. Okay, so um, every now and then I will do it, but for now, today, I'm not doing that. All right, so let's take a look, Pisces, as to what spirit wants you to know that you may not be aware of right now when it comes to your connection, and then we'll get into your tarot. All right, so we've got the significant masculine. Now, what is important about this card is the direction that this significant masculine is facing. So you might be the significant masculine in this particular reading. If you are, then this applies to you directly. If you are the significant feminine in this particular reading, then this is about your masculine, all right? But with this card, you can see the direction that he is looking in. He's looking towards the future. So this is about your, the spirits want you to know something about a significant masculine in the future. All right. So let's see what he is directly looking at here. The ring. So... This feels like a significant masculine that potentially could be looking at potential marriage, but this card is about a very, very deep bond. So whether this is about marriage or not, this is about a very deep bond that this significant masculine sees happening in the future. All right. And then finally, what do we have here? Wow. We have the dog. The dog is about a loyal heart. So if you are a Pisces that is questioning whether or not your significant masculine, okay, is devoted to you, I feel like they are, okay? I feel like their heart is all in. They do see potential marriage or a very deep bond in the future with you, all right? So... Let's take a look. These particular white cards here, this deck, I'll show you the box. This deck is called the Bad Bitches Tarot. Okay, so most of these cards are images of women. Okay, um, I happen to, I happen to like you know, a lot of the cards that I do are of women. Um, I find women beautiful. I find women beautiful to create. Uh, not that I don't find men beautiful as well, but uh, they're more fun to to draw, actually. So anyway, so let's see. Let's, whoops, we got two here. This is going to be an intuitive reading, so I'm not assigning any specific meanings to any particular card. The only thing I don't like about these cards is the they're sticky. They stick to one another. That's it. Otherwise, I really love this deck.
All right, so the purple cards are going to represent your person. Okay, and this particular deck, the purple deck, is called the Vagabond uh, Wild Tarot, second edition, by Tiffany Sosa. So again, a lot of images of women in this deck. Just very, very pretty deck. Um, just letting you know what they are, because a lot of times if I don't tell you, then I get a lot of questions as to what decks I'm using. All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at you first. What do we have here? The Emperor. The Emperor's been coming out a lot today. I'm not sure why that is. Um, you know, I feel like you probably feel a little bit of a sense of that there's a lack of predictability to this connection right now okay and I feel like that's why this is showing up here if you're dealing with a masculine especially this masculine is thinking long term when it comes to you okay you might be struggling a little bit with the predictability of what's going to happen here and I feel like the universe is saying relax it'll work out the way it's supposed to Okay, because your person definitely has a loyal heart when it comes to you. Okay, I don't feel like there's, I don't feel like there's anything, I don't feel like there's anything that you have to question here. Let's see with your person, what do we have? All right, so we have the Page of Wands. Okay, and this might be... Be why some of you are questioning the predictability. You know, you might be in a situation or you've been in a situation for a while with this person and you might feel like, well, this really isn't progressing the way that I anticipated or, you know, things are kind of at a standstill as far as movement you know, I feel like this person might be, you know, they might try to overdo it a little bit with passionately speaking their feelings towards you. And I feel like they're doing it because they know on some level that you might feel like things aren't progressing the way you would like them to progress. You might have even told this person at a certain point that you would like to see things move forward. And for whatever reason, this person might not be moving things forward at the rate or the speed that you would like to see them move forward in. Let's see what else we have for you. Queen of Swords. Okay. So, you know, I feel like, first of all, the Queen of Swords says that you have, you know, over the course of your life, this can say that you've been very resistant to love in your life. You might have had a blocked heart for a good majority of your life. You might not have en engaged in romantic relationships the way maybe other people or your friends do. So this relationship might be taking on a special meaning to you and your expectations are that, you know, it continues to move forward. For some of you, Queen of Swords, you know, you might be in this energy of, you know, we do have a deep bond. I do want marriage. And if this person is going to hold me up, I'm going to cut them off. Now, that is, that's up to you. You certainly can do that if that's what feels right to you, okay? 
it's important that we take a look at this message up here, though. Your person, it feels like, does have intentions, at the very least, for a long-term bond with you, if not marriage with you. Unfortunately for them, if they're not sharing this with you, that's creating some disruption for you where you're like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to put up with this. I don't know if I'm going to hang around to, to just wait and see if this person gets their act together and, you know, propels this relationship forward. You feel like a, there's a lack of predictability here. You might feel a little bit out of control. You might feel like, you know, I finally found somebody that I feel comfortable and happy and that I love. Why can't this move forward at the pace that, that I would like to see it move, you know, in? So what do we have here? All right, so we have Ten of Swords. So I feel like that tells us a lot. For some of you, this person has a very, um, they might have a very pessimistic outlook on, on life itself. They might feel that life itself has disappointed them many, many times. And that's why it's taking them a little bit longer to get to this point. Okay? Um, or Ten of Swords. They know that they might have to betray somebody else in their life, whether it's their family, whether it's a friend, or it could be, you know, another partner. They know they have to betray somebody in order to potentially move things forward with you. All right, we have Nine of Cups. So what this what this is telling me is that if you know if you jump too soon and you cut this person off, I feel like it's going to be a regret for you. I don't feel like cutting this person off outside of, you know, maybe the day that you do it is going to give you any satisfaction at all. So if you're thinking of cutting this person off because you're annoyed that you know, they, you feel like they're holding you up or you're annoyed that, you know, especially if you know if they're with somebody else and they're not making the moves they need to make in order to move forward with you. You know, and, and again, it's not about, I'm not even spending any time on whether or not, you know, I'm condoning that. You know, this is just what I'm feeling and what I'm reading here and you know, a lot of times that is the situation. You could, you could put a third party situation on just about every new relationship. Okay. Because usually somebody has recently come out of a relationship that they might not be completely over. Okay. Or there's somebody from another person's past that still remains on their mind in some way. So in some ways, third party is always there until it's not, all right? So I feel like for you, if you are thinking of cutting this person off because you're getting impatient, I feel like that would be a regret, all right? Just saying. So for this person, what do we have here? We have four of wands. So again, what we're seeing up here is what the four of wands is. The Four of Wands is saying that the two of you might have a really strong foundation. This person, I feel like, might be overdoing it a little bit with how they're communicating with you. They might be over-communicating their feelings. They might be over-communicating their passion for you because they feel your frustration, perhaps. The Four of Wands you know, also says that this is a potential marriage, uh, an impending marriage here, or an impending long-term connection commitment between the two of you. Now, <clears throat> the one thing that I will say about this, okay, 
<clears throat> it's a touchy situation for some of you because if your person is with somebody else, let's talk about that for a minute, okay? Depending on how long you've, you've been in this person's life, okay, you probably know what the situation is. You probably know what's going on with that person, what their fears, what their concerns are. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes we have to be true to ourselves before we're even true to the connection. And this, this person, you know, definitely has intentions to do this. But this Ten of Swords to me is a little bit concerning because, you know, it feels like somebody here, this person, whoever your person is, is very, very, very concerned or worried about the repercussions of betraying somebody, okay? And that makes sense on some level, okay? So we're going to clarify... Frankly, all I really want to clarify here is the Ten of Swords for this person. And for you, I want to clarify the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. We'll start there. So Queen of Swords for you, we've got Two of Cups. This is validating what I'm saying about you regretting cutting this person off, okay? And that's what I wanted to know. I, I feel like this person would not cut you off. And this can be kind of a last resort tactic that we keep in our back pocket, especially when we're dealing with somebody that might be having a hard time leaving another situation behind. But Two of Cups is here for you. And that means it's here for this person as well. And I feel it strongly up here as well. This person, oddly enough, is very loyal in their heart to you. Okay? They might have something very, very difficult that they have to go through or that they have to leave behind, but that's part of probably why you came into this person's life to begin with, okay? So let's see, for them, Ten of Swords clarified by Seven of Wands. So this person, and this is what is causing your frustration. This person is probably very steadfast, very, very much digging their heels in, as to when or if they are going to leave something behind. Now, if your person is saying, hey, I am, I am never going to leave this person, that would be extremely frustrating to you, okay? But what I'm picking up on here, what I'm feeling here, is this person is telling you this not because... It's true, but the fact that they want to do it in their own time, okay? They want to do it in their own time because they know that the fallout could be great. They know the fallout could be difficult. And, you know, it feels like they are just not ready yet. I feel like this is the only missing piece here. Let's get one more to this Seven of Wands. Oh, these cards are so sticky. Six of Cups. Okay, so that is confirmation for you because they are going to choose the person they consider to be their soulmate. The person that when you are not around, they are having very positive, loving thoughts about. And that is so important because... This Queen of Swords, you know, if you know that your Queen of Swords comes out um, periodically with this person, you know, if you present yourself in a threatening way, like I'm going to 
give you an ultimatum or I'm going to put a time limit on this or I'm going to leave this connection or there's a lot of other people that would be interested in me. If you present that way to this person, okay, honestly, you're not helping the situation, okay, because you're creating fear in this person, and this person already has fear about what they're potentially leaving. Not because they have so much attachment to whatever it is that they're leaving, but because because where they were going or where they intend to go, which is you, is threatening to leave them as well. So, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, but the way to get what it is that you want is not to be queen of swords, okay? Even if there's a lack of predictability here right now, it's to be two of cups to this person. It's to be this person's rock, okay? Rock, diamond. It's to be the a diamond that, you know, a rock goes through a lot of pressure in order to turn into a diamond. And I feel like you are that rock to this person. You will eventually turn into this person's diamond because of the pressure you might have felt going through something difficult with this person. It's like this person will want nobody else because of what you went through with this person. That's important. One more here, Nine of Cups for you, King of Pentacles. So this is saying what I just said. You have to be this person's King of Pentacles. Okay, so this person comes to you for happiness, King of Pentacles. This person comes to you for the generosity of your heart. Okay? Of, for what you give to them. How you build them up. If suddenly you are the person that tears them down, why would they leave something that, that would be very difficult to leave? Why would they do that? So right now... Your job is to be the rock. So you turn into their diamond. And hence, you end up with the diamond. Okay? All right, Pisces. We're going to end this with two oracle cards. One for you and one for them. One for you, one for them. What do we got for you, Pisces. Multifaceted. All right. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation. Okay. We know that. There are many layers and dimensions to this, which makes it difficult, which makes you the rock in this situation. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you are asking about. So, Sometimes it's a good idea to give your person the benefit of the doubt, even when maybe they don't deserve it, okay? Because they're going through a lot right now, hence you're going through a lot. It's a multifaceted situation. So when your queen of swords starts to come out, think about how you want to rein her in or him in, depending on who we're talking to. Because Queen of Swords is somebody that steps out of her, her heart space and is completely in her logical mind or, you know, in her practical mind and says, this isn't fair, this isn't right, why am I doing this? Okay, and cut somebody off on a whim. Big mistake big mistake if this is somebody that you want in your life. All right. So for your person, what do we have? Spiritual protection. Love it. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So <coughs> if your person is being protected 
physically, emotionally, and energetically, all right, the universe would not have sent you into this person's life for any other reason than to help them move away from something that isn't serving them anymore, okay? That's why you have to really monitor your queen of swords, okay? All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much.